Congratulations guys. You graduated pilot. Now go back and refund the 100k debt you have. Security. Please put your belongings in the containers. You can go. Stop. We will need to check deeper. Stop again. We will proceed to check your bags. Wait a minute. Here is my visa and general declaration. Please look at the camera. Thank you. Here are the documents. What's up, Moon? I'm happy to see you. I hope you are ready for the flight. No I'm not. We have another 10 hours long flight with one day stop and a jet lag of 7 hours. This company is a joke. And best of all, we're landing in Kathmandu, one of the hardest airport and landing procedures. Yes, but you're just the co-pilot. So you will be playing Candy Crush anyways. Yes, indeed. Your seat 32D sir, welcome on board. Thanks. Dude, I really hope no one sits next to me. I'll have two or three seats for the price of one. Landing gear? Down. Three green lights. Emergency lights? Armed. Alternate flaps? Off. Window heat? On. Pre-flight checklist is complete. Thank you. You want me to do the passenger's announcement? No, don't worry. I will do it this time. Dear passengers and welcome on board, on flight 3905 to destination Kathmandu. Time of flight is 10 hours 35 minutes. Outside temperature is 95 degrees with sunshine expected. Thank you very much. Dude, look at Bitcoin. It crashed another 15% in one hour. V1. Rotation. Dude, the 747 is absolutely beautiful. The arrival will be painful. I was wrong earlier today. We're landing at 5 a.m. and taking off the same day at 5 p.m. Rest is equal to duty now. Like if everything was normal. Yes, I know. All the rest days after flight, considered as day off. Yes, Chad? Hey, co-pilot Moon. I'd like to know if you want something to eat or to drink. It's fine for me, thanks Chad. And you, Wajak, do you want something? I would like to drink apple juice, but is it free? Of course not. It's taken from your salary. Do you still want something? This is pathetic, mate. Paying for your own food while working. We already have low-quality uniforms, the crew changes every time as well as the rosters. I'm basically flying for free until I pay back my training. Yes, I know. I have been doing this for 20 years now. Zuma 227 cleared the land, runway 28 right. Parking brake? Set. Standby power switch? Off. Final checklist is complete. It was a pleasure flying with you. See you tomorrow. Stop. Stop again. Here is my visa and general declaration. May I help you, sir? Yes. Could you bring me to the Air Crew Hotel, please? Are you sure? It's one hour drive from here. What do you mean? What I mean is that they changed the Two Stars Hotel, recently. So, it's no longer near the airport but, far away, in the countryside.
and I was amazed by his talent. He was able to cook 10 kilograms of hey, pasta. Can you stop talking, please? I'm trying to concentrate. Do not hey, be disrespectful Wajak. to Wake me. up. Please. Wake up, man. Dude, it's time to go. What happened? Why are you sleeping in the airport? It's because the hotel was too far from the airport. I only had like 5 hours maximum in between the two flights, if we count the taxi, the procedures and getting ready. So I slept in the airport again. Yes, I know that very well. That's why this time, I booked a hotel at my own cost. Hey Moo, can you please stop playing Candy Crush? We're switching airspace class. We need to contact traffic air control. They can't know we are gaming in the cockpit. Yes, don't worry. Seattle approach, Zoomer 227, 20 miles southwest of Seattle VOR at 7500, en route Arlington, request transit class Bravo airspace. Zuma 227. Seattle approach. Squawk 3121. Guide it. Dude, what the hell? This radio is not working again. I know. It's always the same. Finally, we are arriving. I can't poop on these toilets. Okay, we're back. It was a pleasure working with you for two days. Me too. See you soon for the simulator, the line check, theoretical and medical exams. It's happening soon.